Hey everybody, it's Richard W. here. What's going on? So yes, this is W. Checking in. Number two. So this is unscripted. Um, uncut. Just, you know, off the wall. What's going on? You know, again, inspired by Mega Dan's What's Hood. Because, you know, he's awesome and he does have good ideas. He really does. And I'll probably say that like in every episode, you know. Probably just clipped up. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Anyways, so what's been going on with Richard W? Yeah. So, uh, mostly work. Um, really haven't been. What's the word? Haven't had the energy to like stream or really record anything. I did record a couple of things. Um, like I did the unboxing of the Evil Dead Groovy Collection, which if you guys have not checked it out, please do because i love my intro to that like that is such a nice mwah. love it oh it's so good um but yes um because of me actually owning a ps5 and a 4k television you know it has become my primary 4k blu-ray player in which uh, this is uh one of the things that really gets me enthused about buying movies now in 4k because like I've been waiting for the moment you know <laughs> um and uh well let me pull some things off here um a couple movies that I got for <clears throat> 4k Ghostbusters 1 and 2 now I have not opened the package for this one yet which I will soon but uh, Ghostbusters 1, yeah, Ghostbusters 1 for the uh, 4K, uh, they reduced the amount of grain that they used for uh, the Blu-ray copy, which is good, but I, I, I still don't see why they had to add the grain in the first place. And from the research that I've done, small little searches here and there, from numerous websites, tell me that the grain was put in there on purpose because they want that in there. I don't know, understand why. That doesn't make any sense. I would love to see Ghostbusters one of these days completely without the grain. Nice and sharp, you know, utilize that quality of 4K, if you will. But uh, I'll let you guys know when I watch, too. Um, I also bought a couple other movies recently. Um, I would say within the last month. Um, probably in between the time that I did the last one. I um, got the movie Lightyear. Um, for those of you that are not in the know of what Lightyear is, it is the movie that Andy supposedly sees that inspires him to want a Buzz Lightyear for Christmas. Which, you know, as we know, he does get one. Now, the movie, um, I thought would have been a little more action-packed, a little less, you know, like, uh, comedy, you know? Because you figure, you know, in... In the world, you know, you figure, okay, well, I had my expectations. I was kind of disappointed about it a little bit, but for the most part, I enjoyed the movie. For the most part. Like, it was, it was good. It was a little confusing on the end, but, you know. And then, uh, one of them that I, I really enjoyed... Which was Minions Rise of Gru. Like, dude. I really enjoyed that movie. Like, it was super good. Cannot say enough good things about that. Like, seeing Gru as a little kid. Seeing all these little things that are coming together. Because you, you, if you've seen the Despicable Me movies, you know, you're like, oh yeah, that's that. But yeah, yeah okay. And that explains that, you know. Which was really cool how they they kept the continue 
continuity kind of going by making these little adjustments here and there. So, which is really cool. It's noon. I think about half an hour before I got to go to work. Um, so, I finished Cyberpunk. Um, I'll complete one of the endings. Um, I... It gives you an option at the end. Hey, you want to go back and before this point, you know, in time where there's a point of no return, so that way you can um, go do more gigs and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I definitely want to do that. And so I started doing the uh, Johnny Silverhand gigs. Um, and from what my daughter tells me is that some of the other ones actually take like in-game time like some like there's one that takes at least a week's worth of time so you have to be playing the game for like an in-game time of a week so I'm not sure how long that actually is in real time but uh, something I look forward to trying to do in the future um, but, uh, yeah, and then I, I eventually am going to play the game again uh, as a male character, because of reasons. Um, but, yeah. So, let's talk about future streams. So, that's my puppy drinking water. Um, so, everybody and their brother right now has gotten the Resident Evil Gold Edition, which as you can see here. Um, my first physical copy for the PS5. Love it. Um, have not had a chance to play it yet. But when I first play Village, before the DLC, naturally, um, we're going to make a, you know a little notation on the video that not the DLC. <laughs> I. I imagine we're going to get a lot of people in there that's going to probably be like, oh, yeah, I thought this was the DLC. Oh, never mind. You know, <laughs> but I'm trying to save some people the hassle of that. Um, you good, puppy? You good? <laughs> Thirsty. Yeah, hi. Hi, puppy. Yeah, that's Papa's camera. Don't bump the camera. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to streaming that uh, soon. Either sometime after work or sometime on my days off. Um, I have a four-day weekend coming up, so might be able to do it sometime around then. Um, also, we're going to go back to Shadow Dancer because, you know, we're not stopping until we finish that no death run we're, we're gonna freaking do it no death no spells we're gonna do it and if you guys can hear that that's my wife <laughs> um but yeah another thing too is uh for halloween like i i wanted to do certain stuff for halloween but like the way my energy was the way i I was feeling like it just wasn't going to happen and it's it's sad because like I really wanted to get back to Ghostbusters for the Genesis which I completely forgot I didn't finish that I to be honest I completely forgot but uh yeah definitely want to get back to that and uh and of course you know we got Christmas coming up um after November but, uh, you know, we're going to hear all that Christmas music that everybody loves, which when you're in a store, when you work in a store, that gets kind of grindy on your ears, but, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah. And then, um, what's coming up in the future, too, is MGC. Now, I've already bought my tickets for MGC. My sister is coming because you know she gets the hotel and she helps me out and stuff, which is fantastic. So 
looking forward to that. Um, I need to purchase a new W shirt because my one is getting a little worn in the in the design, looking kind of old. So I gotta I gotta uh, get that get the new one um, when I have the money to. Um, let's see. But yeah, um, thinking I might cosplay a little bit at MGC. Um, I got the ingredients for cosplay. It's just I need to actually sit down and do some work on it because I also want to uh, also want to video it as well because I want to document the process and you know be able to uh, be like. Yeah, I did that. I did that. But, uh, yeah, that's that's roughly about it. That's roughly what's going on with W. But uh, if you like what you see, like what you hear, uh, please consider subscribing. Drop a like. Click that bell to be notified when I upload new content because you never know. You never know. But, uh... I'm trying my best here. I yeah, really am. <laughs> this is Richard W. Saying, have a good morning. Have a good afternoon. Have a good... I'll catch you guys later. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.